Hi guys and welcome back. We're playing on Time Shot. Woohoo! And today we're actually gonna be working on the base a bit. So I've made this. Um and this is a password locked like closet so that we can keep our valuables in there. So basically you just chuck in the password, which I'm not gonna show you guys, and it opens. So we can look in here. Um so I can put things up here as well. Like even have like a secret chest and it'll open and everything. Um, I got my anvil in here. Uh, and then you just press the button to lock it. Nobody else, like, you can't press that and the password disappears. The only way someone is going to find out the password is if they dig down, and I feel like that's a bit cheaty and I don't believe anyone would do so. Um, and then I've just got password is in here, and it opens up to an ender chest, which I've got to clean out my ender chest, it's a bit of a mess. So I've done that, but I'm going to show you guys how I did it on this side. So we're going to duplicate it, but flip it so that the, um, password is on the inside wall again as well. So I'll see how I go with flipping it, because I'm still learning with redstone. Now the other thing I've done is made up a brewing station. So we did have a blaze powder on here, but I needed it. So it disappeared, and I haven't really gone into the nether again since. So yeah, we've just got all the ingredients and stuff. These are just for show. I go up and use the water pond. Then we've got our enchanting area, which we're still collecting book um, shelves for. But yeah, things are coming along. I'm thinking next along here would be like a smeltery type situation. Um, something like that. And then I think we're basically done with this little like productive hallway. Uh, the other thing we need to do, we're going to finish off these closets. And then we need to figure out what we want to do with this room. There's chickens in my base because of Jake. Jake is trouble. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly get rid of this password off screen and then we're going to jump to building this. Alright guys, so I've basically just dug out under the stairs for us. So basically you want to dig out a 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, by 4 hole. And you want to leave like a little strip here. It doesn't really, um, so that doesn't need to be there. Um, but basically just chuck the doors there. For now it doesn't matter how they're placed. Um, so you don't have to worry, but what you will need for this project is two hoppers, two comparators, three repeaters, a chest, two iron doors, some redstone, 11 redstone I believe, but I just always have a stack on me, um, and four redstone torches, and then a drop, two droppers. And then you just need some blocks of any type to use as like reference of just placing blocks. So basically what you want to do, now we want ours to open up on the opposite side to this other one. So what we want to do is we want to go in front of this block here. So you've got your door and then the next block across you want to go in front of like here. And then you just want to pop your two hoppers. And now because we're going the opposite way to what we would normally, we're going to place a block here and have a comparator come out of there. We're going to place a block here and a block here. We're going to have redstone come down. We're then going to place a block here, here. I'm going to put a redstone torch here, place a block up here, and then we're going to come around here, place some redstone, and then we're going to place a repeater facing out of the block, uh, another block, we're then going to use a torch, and this is where you're going to put your droppers. They're going to face each other, so this one's facing out from the wall, and then this one goes in here. Then you're going to want to put the compar comparator facing out, put a block, two pieces of redstone dust, you're going to go re repeater, repeater, two blocks, and redstone, redstone. Now this will open the doors. Now this is where the reason placing the doors in the first place doesn't really matter, because you actually want the doors closed while this is active. Now this is a bit of an annoying thing to do, I've noticed, but you can do it, it it's just takes a bit of annoyance. So you see how it's now that hinges on the wrong side. So we need to come over this side and do the same. There you go. And then I've noticed placing from the side instead of the front helps with this. Um, so basically this is the bottom done for what it is. Um, so then we want to just place this here. And I've been, I just dig out the stairs here so we can get behind. Um, and then we want to, I believe, we want to go back to and then drop one down here. And then we're going to actually bring redstone here. So I need to move that torch. And then we want to go up. And we want to bring this around here. Now, this doesn't really matter as long as the redstone can reach. 
Um, I do believe that on my other one, I have it coming out actually to like here. So we have it out here instead of there. And then basically that's the design, I believe. Um, this is, we'll just have to test it and I've got myself trapped. GG. All right, there is a way in and out, which is good. So we do actually need to make a button. So here's the button. And then we're going to place that here. Now, obviously, if I put anything in here right now, it's not going to work. What we need to do is get out my other password. I also broke this apart to show how it works. Um, see how I made it work. So we better... Oh, come here. We'll just cover this up now. Because we are done with that. We don't... I don't... Unless I break this from now, which... Knowing me, I could. There is a high possibility. But for now, it is done. Alright, guys. So we have opened this up so that I can use the anvil. And basically, I've just got 18 carrots because I don't think I have paper on me right now. Um, but basically, you want to grab four different blocks of anything. Cobble, stone, whatever you want. And basically, what you want to do is mash your keyboard. Mash it. Done. Perfect. Nobody's gonna guess this combination. But you don't even have to guess it again. That's done. Now for the carrots. We are gonna name these Aussie Assassin. Now that's not my password for the other one, just for any time shutters watching, it is not my password. I knew that would be too easy. But for this example, it will be. Now the other thing that we need is a one stackable item. So a one stackable item such as a sword that Jake threw at me because he didn't like the enchants. Fine by me. Now we're gonna remember to shut our door. Now, if I do this correctly, it should work fine. We want to put the four nonsense ones in, and then these ones. That shouldn't. All right, guys, so I figured it out. We had the redstone torch on the wrong one. So the redstone torch was here, it needs to be here, and it definitely needs a block, so that must communicate to this. And then we basically pop this in here, we can pop our Aussie Assassin carrots in here. We need to actually go name some more. Now, um, now that that's been turned back on, we want these closed in this state, so we need to do this. Actually, I believe that it may have activated. Let's double check where this is located. Yes. So this is the, um, we need the doors closed at this state. So let's see if they are. No, they're open. So we want to move these away and go bam. We do not want it at the back, so we're just going to get rid of the button for a minute. No, I said not at the back door. Come on. There we go. Pop this here and here, and I'm guessing the button went in here. And then, like this. So now, if we go and actually rename these other two pieces of carrot to Aussie Assassin, which we probably should have just named a whole heap, but yeah. Aussie Assassin. I don't remember if I used capitals like that, so this could be interesting. Did we? We did. So now if we just place it in here, the door's open. Close them with the button. And that's basically it. So now I can just block in this area and block it all off. Um, it doesn't really matter how you do it. Uh, and I used clay on the other side. I think I do believe that I actually ran this redstone out here. And it should, I do believe, still work. So this redstone, I don't know, let's have a look, does it still work? Now let's grab, the chest has all the answers. Um, I wish it was easy to get to the chest. Okay, oh they're all going to cycle through, okay, come here. All cycled through. Excellent.
It would be nice if the chest was easier to access. Alright. Bam. So let's reactivate this with this. And the carrots. So yeah, it still activates. We don't need the redstone on this side. But look, we just need it on this side where the button is. I'm guessing that we... I think because I was playing around with the button. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how it goes. And then we're just going to basically cover it in. And then I'll fix up the staircase accordingly. Do you need to um, break this? Just so we can cover it up. Do we get the button in here? Like this. Get rid of that. And then the floor is going to be how the rest of the floor is basically, which is a pattern. Uh, like this. Then this is just the plain block, so we need to grab that. Then this one. And then another bone block. So we might pop that there, and then like that. So now we have another one. Basically I just need to cover these in. And I guess I'll figure out how to make this look good. <laughs> Afterwards I'll copy the other side. But yeah, so doesn't work if people are just pressing it. Not at all. Completely like, no thank you. But if you do, and you can just chuck it in because hoppers will absorb it. Bam! So yeah, basically that's it. And then you can just do the walls however you feel. You can even have like it come into this little space here. Like, and you can have stuff in there that people can't even see. Uh, and that would be basically our cupboard. Don't forget to close the door on the way out, guys. So yeah, that's basically now the start of my base being finished. I'll fix up this hole in a minute. So we've got like the under um, stairs cupboards where we can hide things like our anvil because you have people like Jake on the server that like to use your anvil and break them. I had an anvil down here and it got broken. It was Jake. He admitted it and then claimed because he used it once he didn't have to replace it. Which I get that he only used it once but he did come to my base to use it. Um, we've got our potion area, which is good. We've been working on the guardian farm, so having water breathing potions have been great. I do need to name these guys. I do have the names from the episode, I just need to get two name tags. I am lacking the name tags, so nameless and nameless will stay for a little while. Um, and then if you guys have any suggestions on what to do with this area, at the moment my beds are just in here. Um, but I don't know what to do to fill this area got storage on this side and then like productivity on this side <laughs> so things are coming along it's a pretty good spawn house I think like I've got most of the things I need for the spawn house um, basically up top is just visual Dave was here um, it's just a visual thing but otherwise yeah I'm probably gonna just leave this blank as like a visual kind of thing and that's my base coming along oh I also did banners I don't know if I told you guys this. I did banners though. And Penny's Star Sick Beats is now open. So before we end the episode, we're just going to go over there and see what she's offering. Because, you know, note blocks and um, records work really well together, I believe. Um, but yeah, a lot's been happening off camera. I do hang out with a lot of guys after, like, like outside recording times. But that's okay. Oh, I made it through the doors. So yeah, we've got all the records here. And then, I believe, yes, record swap. Have a disc you dislike, pay with it and grab another. Which is cool. So, it's a pay-as-you-want system. She likes lapis, diamonds and quartz. I believe that she did want a lot of quartz. And why not buy a jukebox too? So, yeah, we might, we might be here. Nobody's done anything yet, but I do believe she's only just been open for a little while. So, we'll come in here and listen to some and decide. Um, well... Pudsy vs. Doors. Doors 1, Pudsy 0. No? Okay. It's okay. No, I didn't want to leave. No? Okay. Yep, I'm out. I'm out. I'm never going back. No, I will go back. Um, and then the only other thing that I wanted to show you guys is the other night Anasia died in a lava bath, which happens to Anasia code myself fairly like we've all done it. Um, I believe Jake's done it as well. Um, so we made... 
Uh, we made that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And I'm pretty proud of it. I don't really want to get rid of it because we actually came up with the song ourselves. There was no tutorial used. And Asia and Jake are really good with like, listening for music. So they were really good at it. And I did the redstone -y stuff to get the pace. And yeah, so that's our little thing. And I designed the little box. And it's pretty great. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my kind of semi-tutorial type showing you how I made my under closet stairs thing. I'm not the best with redstone yet, so I don't um, claim to know what I'm doing. It's just me messing around and watching different tutorials. I watched quite a few tutorials on locked doors and things, and that's what I kind of figured worked. A lot of people did it like that. It's a very common one, so I don't believe it's anything special, and I'm sure you guys can find a better way to do it, but there's just an idea for you. And basically you at least know when there's a world download that you can go and get the password and figure it out. I will probably change the password every world download because I don't want you guys telling people. You know? Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!